Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how to create a VPC clearing connection between YAMCAS Cloud Deployment and Timescale Cloud. YAMCAS Cloud is a cloud-native, fully managed MQTT service that could connect to massive amounts of IoT devices and process real-time data. And Timescale Cloud is a managed Timescale DB service hosted in more than 75 regions in multiple platforms. The VPC peering connection makes it possible for the virtual machines in the different VPCs to talk to each other directly without going through the public internet. So these two services could communicate with each other as if they are in the same network. So let's get started. First, let's log into the EMKS Cloud Console and create a new deployment. At this time, we need a professional deployment to handle the, the VPC peering connection. If you're a new user, we provide you a 30 day free trial for basic deployment and 14 day free trial for the professional deployment. Click on Deploy to start the creation. While the deployment is creating, let's go to Timescale Cloud Console. Timescale Cloud is built and operated by the team behind Timescale DB. Timescale Cloud provides a flexible relational time series database. To create a VPC peering with it, go to the VPC page. If you don't have an available VPC, you could create in a short time. Select the region that matches with your EMKS Cloud deployment and enter the IP range. And click on Create VPC. After about one minute, we could refresh the page. We could see the VPC we just created is now available. Let's now create the VPC peering connection. Go to the VPC peering page and enter the VPC information of your EMKS cloud deployment. And click on add peering connection. Wait about two minutes and refresh the page. And now we can see the state is pending here. It means the peering connection request has been sent. You could view the current VPC information and go to the MCAS Cloud Deployment Console to accept the peering connection request with those information. And click Confirm to continue. And wait about one minute when the state turns to running, which means you've successfully created the VPC connection. To connect to the deployment, we also need to add authentication information first. After we added, now we are ready to connect to the deployment. At this time, we recommend you to use MQTTX to test the connectivity. In the console, click the Add New button and fill in the deployment information. As an elegant cross-platform MQTT desktop client, MQTTX could quickly connect the deployment and send messages. and click on the connect button.
we could now see MQTT X is connected with our deployment. To bridge data to timescale cloud, we also need to configure the role engine. To create a resource, select the timescale as a resource type and fill in the timescale cloud cluster information. Always test the availability of the resource before actual create it. Click Confirm to finish the creation. Now let's create a role. Click on the Add New button. We first need to fill in the Customize the SQL command. In this tutorial, we want the command to handle getting timestamp, client ID, temperature and humidity data from the topic time hum dash emqx. We also could test the, the SQL command. In the template, fill in the payload messages. And also change the topic name. Click on the SQL test to check if it gives us the results we want. Now we could add a response action. Select the data persists to time scale. and select the resource we just created and enter the payload template. At this time, we are sending timestamp, client ID, temperature, and humidity data. Click Confirm to finish the creation. Now let's test if the rule is working or not. Open the MQTTX again and try to send messages to the topic. Subscribe topics is a good idea if you want to track the data. After sending separate messages, open the terminal and go to the timescale DB to check if timescale db successfully consumed the data we just sent. Based on what we see in the terminal, now we successfully sent data to timescale cloud use using MKS cloud rule engine. That's the end of the video. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. Thanks for watching.